I'm here at our latest remodel, and like with most whole house remodeling jobs, along with changing the aesthetics, you decided to change the house layout as well, and this one's no different. Originally, this small area was the home's dining room, but after the remodel, we decided to make this large area here the dining room, mainly because it's right off the kitchen. Originally, this was the family room, and here they had a ceiling fan, but since we're making a dining room, we have to have a dining room light this light. Unfortunately, after installing said light, I realized that there was no switch to operate it. The original ceiling fan operated off a pull chain only, so now the light is constantly on. Typically to fix this, I would run a wire from the junction box above the light, across the ceiling, down this wall, and put in a switch about right there. But one night when I was shopping on Amazon, I accidentally stumbled over this item. It's a wireless light switch. So to save myself the trouble of climbing in the attic today and crawling all the way over here, and to show some of you who may not be as familiar with electrical another option, I thought this would be a great time to try one of these out. Inside the box there's a set of instructions, the switch to go on your wall, a receiver that goes above your light, some connectors for your wiring, and some double-sided stick tape to attach your switch to the wall if you don't want to use screws. First and foremost, even though this is a wireless switch, you are going to be coming in contact with the power above the light. So you want to cut off the power to that light. Next, you connect the wireless receiver in the junction box above the light. The switch comes with wire connectors, but the gauge of the wires coming from our ceiling are a little too thick for this. So instead of using these, we're just gonna be using traditional wire nuts. Just be sure when you're connecting them, you use the correct side. It's labeled on here. These two wires are for the end coming from your power source. These two wires are out going to the light. Before you compare the remote to the light, you'll have to have power going to the receiver. So we'll switch it back on here at the breaker. After everything's wired together, you have to pair the receiver with the switch. So you'll need to press this button and hold it down. With the light blinking, then press your switch to pair them. This extra wire is the antenna for the receiver, so you want to leave it as low as possible to get the best reception. After you pair the switch, the last step is to mount it to the wall. You actually don't have to if you want to keep it just at your table to use as a remote control, but so this one doesn't get lost, we are going to mount it to the wall. Like I showed before, it comes with double-sided tape, but we're going to take the back off and attach this one with screws. In order to attach it with screws, we'll have to take this back off. 